It may seem like Apple is behind the competition a lot of the time. The company appeared to be slow to developments like widgets, bezel-less displays with camera notches and screens with high refresh rates. And with the iPhone 16 Pro, it appears to once again be late to the party, bringing generative AI features and a real button for the camera to its 2024 flagship. But if you will allow me to play a therapist for a moment, I think it's not that Apple is slow, I think Apple is cautious, perhaps overly so. Caution on its own isn't a bad trait, in fact, it could be considered thoughtful rather than rushed to the cutting edge with its peers Apple delivers usually finding a slightly different approach that is often an improvement on what's out there, just look at the Vision Pro headset or Apple Silicon, or even the iPod, the iPad, and the AirPods, which were far from the first of their kind when they launched. Even if you are not a gluten for buttons, there are still some camera updates that might intrigue you. This year's flagships sport what Apple calls a 48MP fusion camera which has a faster quad-pixel sensor. This enables what the company describes as zero shutter lag, which is wording it has used repeatedly over the years. In this case, it is referring to how quickly the camera will capture a shot after you press the shutter button. I will admit I was initially confused by this update in part because it records relearning some behaviors I had adopted to mitigate the shortfalls of older cameras. Basically the iPhone 16 Pro's cameras are now so fast that when I asked someone to throw something so I could capture it in motion to see how still the images were, my shots ended up being of the person holding the object. Our video producer and I were very confused and it wasn't until the zero shutter lag concept was explained clearer to me that I got it. I had become used to pressing the shutter early since cameras, in my experience, would be fractions of a second slow. Apple has become so fast that it actually captured the literal moment I tapped the button instead of the split second after when the object was in mid-air. Depending on your mood, the new photographic styles can be fun or serious. Apple's tweaked the built-in camera filters to not only offer more options but give you greater control. Due to how the company has refined its processing each year, there is also an improved depth map captured when it detects a face in the scene. This combined with a greater focus on color signs around skin tone has led to what might be my favorite new iPhone 16 feature. Whether I shot them in portrait mode or not, photos of people, what I took using the iPhone 16 Pro were a dream to edit. Simply switching between the standard, natural, luminous, quiet or ethereal styles already resulted in improvements to be colors and shadows, but I could also tap on each thumbnail to across the new editing touchpad and drag a dot around. This let me more precisely tweak the hues and contrast levels and an additional slider below let me adjust how warm the image was. Apple's caution is sometimes warranted, especially at a time when mistrust of AI-generated content runs rampant, the company taking its time to get Apple intelligence right is understandable. But its deliberation doesn't always lead to winners. While I appreciate the attempt to differentiate camera control with the touch sensor for more versatility, I am not yet convinced on its usefulness. 
The good news is and I cannot stress this enough you have the option to tune it to your liking and that's the theme I'm seeing in recent Apple features that hint at more thoughtfulness than usual. If you don't like something or if something isn't right for your needs you can adjust or disable it. In iOS 18 you have greater control over your home screen's app layout and can pin custom collections for easier reach. In the Photos app, the action button introduced last year could have been a spectacular fail had Apple not let you still keep it as a mute switch, but it managed to give people more functionality while maintaining the status quo for those who are just as resistant to change. Change is scary, change is hard, but without change there is no progress. Apple's cautious approach is a tricky balancing act that's evident on the iPhone 16 Pro. Some new features like audio mix and custom routes in maps delivers mixed results, otherwise like photography styles are hits. Then there are the basic ingredients like good battery life and durable attractive designs that Apple cannot neglect. The iPhone 16 Pro's soft power battery life holds it back from beating the competition, which is stiffer than ever this year, especially from Google. Luckily for Apple, most people who have iPhones are going to stick with iPhones, it's just easier. For those already sucked into the ecosystem, the iPhone 16 Pro are worth the upgrade from a model that's at least 2 years old. If you already have an iPhone 15 Pro, for the sake of our planet and your wallet, you might prefer to hold off on upgrading especially since this year's devices aren't that much different.